for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Ryan and Danielle Axe. All right, take two. I recorded this entire vlog and I was in Ryan's man room, man cave, office, whatever you want to call it. Um, anyways, I was in there and the fan was on and the microphone picked up the sound from the fan. <sighs> so now I have to record the whole entire thing. Yay! Hi guys! Alright, so we did have our first IVF appointment for this round. Um, it was actually yesterday, uh, but we've been super busy, so I couldn't record yesterday. And then Ryan left today. Um, he's out of town for business. So it's just me and the pups. Love you girls. So I'm um, just living that uh, dog mom life, trying to take care of them all by myself. So we did have our first appointment yesterday and the appointment started off really good. And we went in, the doctor was actually in surgery so the doctor's assistant um, did my ultrasound to check my baseline, check my lining uh, before we actually start the process. So we went ahead and did that and my left ovary was fine but my right ovary did have a cyst, a large cyst. She said it was about a 12 and then she was gonna go and check with the doctor to confirm that was okay. She said most likely it was. One of the assistants came in and actually went over the IVF process with us and all the medications we're going to be taking. So they went over the Menopure and the Gonalef, which we've actually done previously in our IVF cycle. So that was good. We're sticking with the same medications because we still have some left over. So we're trying to save money. So they went over all that. They had my chart there and our calendar for everything that was going to be happening. And she was like, all right, so you guys are going to start injections tonight. And we were like, what tonight Ryan and I just both looked at each other like oh my gosh this is happening tonight which I wasn't prepared for but I was kind of like well at least now I'm not gonna overthink it so that's good the doctor's assistant came in and she's like the doctor Lee said that he actually wants to do the ultrasound on you himself he's out of surgery so I was like all right so he goes and he does it and he sees the cyst and he's like okay it looks all right. I think we're still gonna continue with this cycle this time around. Um, let me just get your blood work so that we can confirm that the cyst is not active. So for me, when they draw my blood, it sucks. It hurts so bad every time. They can never find my vein. It takes them like 20 minutes. They always have to do it in my hand. But I'm kind of used to it now, but it still hurts every time, <laughs> to be honest. They took my blood and they said, all right, Here's some prescriptions, go pick them up. Then we will go ahead and call in the specialty medications. The pharmacy will contact you so that they can send it to you so that you'll have everything you need. And I was like, all right, all jazzed up. And then they said that they'll call me with the results um, and if we need to change anything because of my blood work. So I was like, all right. So we left, Ryan went back to work and I went to the gym. I had my phone all out just in case the doctors ca would call and the doctor did call but I for some reason didn't hear my phone ring even though I had my phone all out but whatever <laughs> I guess that's just how it goes um, and then I had a voicemail and then I had text messages from Ryan so I was like alright something didn't go right like this isn't happening and then I was all upset um, so what they said is that the cyst is actually still growing and um, my estrogen level was too high. So they wanted to be at a 200 and it was actually at 265 already. So they said that we're gonna scratch the cycle and start fresh next month. So that really sucked. Yeah, that was, that was a bummer, I was pretty upset. And then everybody was texting me, asking me how it went. I was like, oh, I don't wanna talk to anybody. That's just how I get. So if that was you, don't take it, in per don't take it personally. Um, when I get bad news, I just like to think it over myself and process it. And then once I'm better, I'll talk to you about it. <laughs> After Ryan came home, 
Um, we talked about it and we decided that we did have some questions for the doctor. So we wanted to know what could have caused it, what we can do to prevent it, and then when he wants to see me again. Then I called the doctor's office this morning, raised my questions with them. And they said uh, why it happened. They don't really know. They said cysts do just happen, which I have had them before, um, not quite this big. That kind of sucked. I, I wasn't expecting it. I feel like I've prepped myself and I worked so hard and I go to the gym so much and I've been eating really good, trying to prepare myself for the last six months so that I can make sure that this is it, it's gonna happen, it's gonna work, and then just another bump in the road. I just feel like there's been so many bumps. I, ugh. Once it finally happens, I'm gonna have to pinch myself to know it's real. It's just so frustrating. They said they don't really think I could have done anything to prevent it. They said, uh, well, I googled it. I was googling what can make your estrogen levels and it was saying stress. So I was like, yeah, I've had a lot of stressful things going on lately, to be honest. Um, not a lot of things that I have control over, just things that come up and I stress out about it. That's just how I am. She was explaining everything to me and she was saying that a follicle, which is a cyst, grows on your ovary. Um, and since it's big, it's going to continue to grow. So if we started the injections, we would create all the little eggs, which is what we're trying to do is create lots of eggs so that we can have lots of eggs for our retrieval that could potentially turn into embryos. She said, so if I continued the injections and I started this time around that I would create lots of little eggs but then my one big follicle will still continue to grow which will cause me to ovulate which would make me lose all the little eggs and they wouldn't be they wouldn't work so we wouldn't be able to use them so potentially it would be a waste which I was really thankful that my doctor did call me and tell me this so that we don't just waste our money and have to start all over again and be back to square one. I am very thankful that he has our best interest at heart and he really does want this to work. So that is a good thing. I love my doctor and I really do trust him. So that's awesome. So thankful that he did that for us. What's next is they're going to send me a schedule. They said that they're going to email me a schedule to tell me when we need to go back in. And in the meantime, they have put me on birth control to help regulate my cycle because it is really random and weird. Also, they said that it, that should probably help um, to reduce cysts. So hopefully that all works. And we will go ahead and I'll give you guys a little update when we get our schedule, what it's looking like, when we're gonna have our first appointment, let you know how that goes. And hopefully July is the month. I'm hoping, praying, wishing. Hoping that July is our month and we're gonna start and we're gonna get this process rolling because we are ready, I'm so ready. And I really appreciate all you guys reaching out to me, asking me how it's going, what we're, what step of the process we're in, um, giving us, you know, just your kind words and it's really awesome and I really appreciate it and thank you guys so much and we'll get back to you soon. Thanks guys, bye.